Hi, I'm Chuck Edwards, and welcome to another episode of Meet the Gaffer. In this second of three episodes about Cinegear 2019, let's talk about Cineo. They're a, a company that is connected with NBC Universal. Uh, they make units small to large, and their sort of flagship unit is this LB800. And again, it's that sort of two foot by four foot form factor that I really like. Uh, similar to the, the Maxi Mix, to the Celeb 850, it's like an Image 80, an Amara. Uh, just a, a, a light that has a good size, is already soft, gives you good output, also has the capability of full range of RGB, and has all the Wi-Fi and connectivity aspects that we're coming to expect in uh, today's lighting units. Let's check it out. So look, I'm really excited because the LB800 is the uh, kind of the flagship product we launched with zonal, with zonal control. What it is, it's a light that actually has 10 zones uh, that you can individually control within the same fixture. And so, as you can see here, we're going from a, a, a a white, a high CRI white, into a color blend. And so the, the benefit is that, that this light not only can do a, a nice solid soft source, and it can be a very high quality a white from 2700 to 6500, but you can also add color. And in this case, you can shape the light going from a, a white to a color or, or any combination you like over those 10 zones. Thanks to Bobby Finley for being our DP on this production. But what he's showing, and, and the benefit here is, we've, we've basically wrapped uh, the entire set with these lights. Rather than moving the lights, what we're actually doing is choosing which zone uh, we want for the primary uh, light. Then we can move that or widen it uh, simply by using uh, the controls, by simply by doing it on the board. Uh, the benefit now is then, rather than rolling lights around, you can actually widen or, or make your source more narrow and then add color. And the color to the side of it adds a chroma to the shadows, which means so the, the shadow's not just going to be the same light getting dimmer, but the shadow's now going to have a bit of, in this case, a blue cast to it, which, which makes for a more theatrical, more, uh, just a richer look. And this is something that, that really is enabled by this type of zonal lighting uh, that you can't normally do with just a, a single solid fill light. So right now we're seeing, um, if you look at these lights, are creating uh, both, a, both a white fill, but also a, a, a really nice color accent. And then in addition to that, the other lights were able to change in the foreground to have it go from a warm hue, obviously not on the black body curve, actually going even warmer than that. Um, and then of course on the corner, we show the, opposite, with the um, alternate orientation which is a vertical orientation. So the lights can be used either horizontally uh, with horizontal zones, or it can be turned into a um, portrait orientation, and then you have vertical zones. And both are popular. Now, in the, the case of the larger fixture, the 4x4, uh, the yoke, the same yoke can be used in either horizontal or vertical form. So people can decide how they want to move the light uh, based on how they set up the rig. Our light engine is, um, is an 80 watt light engine. And so what we do is we actually have 10 80 watt light engines, thus this being the LB800. And so um, each one of those boards is two feet long by uh, about five inches wide. And that's how we create the fixtures. Uh, the advantage is you can address it as a single zone fixture to save on DMX channels, or you can address it as a uh, 10 zone fixture, which each zone has its own DMX address. We support HSIK, RGB, 8-bit, and 16-bit. And so you'd select the personality um, on the control panel uh, based on are you trying to be economical on channels or do you want to have that full control? All right, this is my favorite part of the light. Working on lights all the time and knowing that people are going to break them. I mean, there's always L&D you have to deal with. Rather than make a light you have to disassemble to repair, our light is completely modular. As a piano hinge, the doors lock open, both top and bottom. And this shows you the 10 zones. So here we have our 
10 DMX controllers, one for each zone. Each has its own small uh, power supply. If one of the boards gets damaged or one of these units gets damaged, it's a simple component swap out. Really, really easy to work on. And the idea is that, that uh, it's all captive screws that you just open and close. So the, the light was also designed for, for uh, service with the idea that we want these to have a long life and be really easy to work on on set. Thanks for watching. Always great to have you come by, Luke. <laughs> Appreciate it.